Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you for coming along this afternoon. Um, just before 11.30 on Monday the 15th, police were called to the North South Motorway at Wingfield after we'd received information from a member of the public that two children were being assaulted. Police will allege that a silver Honda sedan came to a stop on the motorway about 300 metres south from the Port River Expressway. The driver removed her two young children from the car and stabbed them with a knife. A member of the public stopped his car on the motorway, intervened and disarmed the woman. And soon after, he was assisted by other members of the public who restrained the woman until police were able to arrive. The children, an eight-year-old boy and a three-year-old boy from Mobbury Heights were taken to the Women's and Children's Hospital by SA Ambulance, where they were treated for critical injuries and they remain in hospital in a stable condition. The woman, a 35-year-old from Modbury Heights, was arrested and taken to the Royal Adelaide Hospital, where she's been detained and will undergo a health assessment prior to police interviewing her further. She will likely be charged with two counts of attempted murder, and it is anticipated she will have a bedside hearing later today. Excuse me. <clears throat> As this matter will be before the court, I'm not going to be able to provide any further specific detail around the investigation at this time. However, what I would like to add is that we are extremely grateful to the people that stopped and rendered assistance intervening in this incident, as no doubt the situation would have been much worse had they not stopped. Western District detectives will be investigating and we ask anyone who may have witnessed the incident and haven't already spoken to police to please contact Crime Stoppers on 1800 000. I'll now take some questions. Can you tell us about the injuries to the children? Um, so they did receive a number of stab wounds. Um, the eight-year-old boy has undergone surgery and he's stable and will make a full recovery. And the three-year-old is about to undergo surgery, but also had a number of stab wounds, but is also considered to be stable at this time. Can you tell us how many times? Sorry? Can you tell us how many times? No, that'll, that'll form part of the investigation Can as we go through. Where on the body? No, I'm not prepared to commit to anything or that do further those, detail. Do those children have a next of kin? Uh, yes, they do. We still have to contact some close family members, but they do have next of kin. Do you confirm whether or not police were at the family's home on Sunday? Um, all of those detail around past interactions, if there were any, that'll form part of the investigation going and forward as well. Are there any involvement with and um, that'll be a matter for the Department of Child Protection to answer, but of course we are in discussions with them about this. Can you just talk us through the role of this man who pulled over to help and how much his actions impacted? Um, as I said, if this man hadn't stopped, um, I'm sure the situation would have been much worse. We're very grateful that he stopped. And we're also very grateful for the two other members of the public that assisted him uh, in this. But as to the specific detail, again, I'm not going to be able to put that before you at this so point. How would you describe his actions? Um, we think he was very brave in doing this. And we are really pleased that he was there, right spot, right time. Children have a, a father, and is that who they're being cared for now? Um, so we do have close relatives, and yes, there is a father. Um, but we will be having discussions, obviously, with the DCP about the ongoing care of those children from Has here on in. Been raised whether or not the children will be removed from the care of the family. Um, the that, that forms part of the discussions going forward as well. Was the father living with the mother and the children? At the yeah. time? Oh, I don't know that detail. I haven't got that. The hearing uh, likely to be this afternoon bedside. Would that likely to be in a, a city court, or would that be at a court? Um, we anticipate at this point in time, given that um, the progression of time to date, uh, that it'll more than likely be at the hospital this afternoon. But we won't be able to confirm that at this point. Do you have any idea about where the mum was going? It's quite late at night, haven't you? No. No, we don't know what triggered the episode. We don't know at this point in time where she was going or what she was doing. Uh, were you aware or had, had dealings with the woman or the family before? So that'll form part of the investigation as we move forward um, and all of that information will be put before the court. Um, how far away from the family home was she? Would you say it's, it's an old place you're driving? Was, it, was she far from there? Um, so she's on the expressway. Um, so it's really probably, in relative terms, not that far. 
Um, but why she was there, I can't say. Um, are the children, do they have any um, I don't, That's the only information that I have, that there are only the two children, but that's yet to be confirmed as well. Sorry, I think you might have answered this, but um, just asking again, were you aware of last night the children going missing at all from the house? Or was that incident where you, on the expressway at first, that you'd heard from that? Um, so from, from my personal perspective, the expressway incident is the first that I became aware of this particular family, but all of that history will be brought forward before the court to consider. So have there been any reports to the police earlier in the evening concerns about the, the mother's behaviour or the children's welfare, anything along those lines? And once again, we'll, we'll obviously be delving into that as we go forward. How was um, this case for police officers and for emergency services dealing with this at the same and, and the, uh, as an ongoing investigation as well. uh, it, Quite frankly, it was horrific. And, you know, I've spoken to some of the staff members. Unfortunately, I didn't get to speak to all of them as some of them had gone off shift. But, um, you know, police officers are very resilient, but we're also very mindful of the fact that not only police officers, but emergency services responders, and also for the members of the public to be confronted with an incident like this is, is very significant. And we're very mindful of the wellbeing of our staff around matters like this. Have the members of the public that joined in to help, been offered any kind of support? Um, we've had our victim contact officers speaking with people. Whether they've extended that far to um, the members of the public, I'm not sure, uh, but we'll certainly be offering our assistance as well. Do you know how the man, I mean, on that stretch of, on the motorway, he's going fairly quickly, how did he manage to see what was going on? Um, was that, that very clear or...? I can't answer that one, I'm sorry. Last question? Um, do you understand that that car was a family car, it's not believed to be stolen? Or um, I don't have any information to that effect, that it was stolen. Um, I do understand it to be the family car. Thank you. Uh, okay. Can I just ask one more? Do you know if she's left the home house, what the time frame no, I... is? That she left the house a lot earlier than they were found? Uh, I can't. We actually, at this point in time, don't have that information as to where she was in the lead up to this incident. Mm -hmm. So I can't answer that question. Can I sneak one more in, please? Um, sorry. Uh, can you confirm whether or not there had been a um, domestic violence-related issue previous to this incident? So on the Sunday night, neighbours have said that police attended the home. Is there anything that police are aware of to indicate that sort of situation? Um, as I said, all of that information will form part of the um, brief that goes before the court. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, ladies and gentlemen.